Hey guys, it is Sonia. Checking in, see how you're doing. Boy, you're a little squish. Do you feel squish? Let me straighten you up just a little bit here. It's funny how you look through this viewfinder and you get over here and you're like, okay, I think that's better. So how is everybody out there doing today? Guys, we're getting snow. I'm so excited. I love snow. I do, at least just for a little bit. I, You know what I really, really love? I love it when you get enough snow that you can actually do stuff in the snow and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, just growing up north, of course, I'm used to massive amounts of snow. So that just makes me happy when it comes. The first, and I guess this would be the, really the first big snowfall of the season. And so I am ready for Narnia. I love it right now. So right now I'm coming to you live, not live, but you know, on video here, real time. It is Tuesday night. We got about another hour and a half left in our store in a four hour day, and then we'll head home. It is snowing outside right now, and we're about less than a mile from the beaches of Lake Erie. So um, since I've been living up here, and now I have my store in Erie itself, learning a lot about like lake effect snow, and just the weather, you know, the weather patterns. But right now, I was just talking to um, Billy, who is a yoga instructor, and he does yoga here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And he's getting set up for um, people to come in now. And I was just over there in the space, and we're talking about snow and winter. And I was just um, saying to him that, like, right now, when it starts to just, like, a little bit of snow, it reminds me of that scene in um, Edward Scissorhands, which I just watched recently. I watched it. It's free on YouTube if you want to go rewatch it. Love that movie. But you know at the very end where, you know, legend has it that, you know, he's still alive. And when it snows over the town yearly, you know, each year, each Christmas, it's really Edward, you know, out doing his scissors trimming but he's uh doing the whole ice sculpture of um the girl remember the girl the girl so i think that was white winona Ryder who actually played that actress oh boy these are dusty so anyway getting to hang out do a little project here on a snowy beginning of snowy eve season it's wonderful it feels really really good so um it's a little bit later in the day i was hoping to get um, some projects done early, earlier, but it just got really, really busy around here. And um, yeah, this time of the year, oh, I just realized I should probably turn my light on. Would that be more helpful to you guys? Because it's dark outside right now. Let me see, can you guys see? I think you can see okay, right? If I turn the light on, I don't know what that will do, but we'll white it out completely. So uh, you know what, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, yeah, it's dark outside right now want to get this project done. I find myself, which is different for me, I find myself having more energy now, probably like early afternoon. I would say there was a time in my life, many of you guys know that um, I would paint stuff really, really late at night, which I still do. I do my canvas painting late at night and watch TV and just kind of binge some Netflix or something I want to see, some YouTube movie. movie. But now I find myself having more energy to like really to just do things probably before like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the day, like right after lunch, right in there when, I've, when I've, I'm awake and like that's my time to shine right now. So this is a little bit later in the day, but I still wanted to get this project done because I have had a bunch of great finds and now I've got a load of them in my paint studio and one thing I really want to make sure of is that I keep on top of the stuff that comes in so I can paint it and flip it, sell it, make money, and then go ahead and, you know, invest into more pieces to flip for profit. So who remembers when I bought this piece here, you saw me just take off some greenery that was on it. I got it at Goodwill, came with a candle. I really don't want the candle. Oh, this is a battery operated one. I don't know if it still works or not. Some dusty greenery. Whew. All right. Should have took my Claritin. And now this is what I really wanted. So I paid $8.99 for this cage and it's a pretty heavy duty one. Like I felt, and it's got a little hook on the top too, which is nice. But I really felt like this could sell for sure. And for $8.99, I was willing to invest into it. So today I'm gonna put some um, color onto it. And I thought maybe you guys might wanna hang out and do this project with me as I work through the projects. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to get done. I'm going to go ahead and um, just clean it up real quick. Oh, there's my tag right there. Uh, so yeah, I thought we could hang out and chat a little bit. 
And the other thing I've got to do today is go ahead and go online and take off a few things that have sold. So I'll show you my system for what I do around the store here for just kind of like how I keep track of selling my stuff, my stuff, my home decor in store and online. So, but let me just go ahead and get this ready to paint and then we can chat some more. I'll be right back. So I did turn the light on. Does that make a difference? It's just on low. Hopefully that just might light things up. So I just did a really quick um, dust of this piece and I am going to put a fun pop of color on here. So I wanna, you know, make my little area of my area of thrift finds as it grows to be very, very like, how shall I describe eye candy, pure eye candy. So as a result, I have picked out one of my favorite fun colors and it is called Teal River, which is a beautiful teal color. And I really think that on this um, black piece, it will really show up. So. This is a can I've had kicking around for a while. You can see in here, it is Teal River. She's pretty blue. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. We do have a little bit of this left. Here we go, do you see? See how thick that is? Now it's sat for a bit. If I really needed to thin it out, which I'm gonna do a dry brush, so I'm not gonna thin it out. But if you ever really need to clean, to thin out your paint, just go ahead and uh, put some, just a little bit at a time, a little bit of room temperature water into it. Not, not completely hot, but um, not completely cold you know, just room temperature. All right, I'm looking for what feels like the right brush for me. This one actually might be the right brush for me. She's been around the block, but what I look for is I, when I do a dry brush like this, I'm gonna go with a shabby chip brush. It has a natural brush hairs, you can hear it. It's kind of itchy scratchy, right? And I don't want to completely cover it. I wanna have some of this uh, black coming through. So this will do the job. I think this will be perfect. So yeah, I'm, I've been thrifting up a storm. You'll see me back on my Simon Miller page here again tomorrow. Um, today is the creativity day. So a day for creativity, a day for thrifting. I figure it will all balance out because at the end of the day, I am thrifting not for myself, but to sell. So it's important for me that I keep moving and I keep, um, yeah, painting, flipping. So if I buy stuff, it's easy for, it's so easy to build up a pile when you don't even mean to. I mean, we all know what happens in the garage. Things go to the garage, it dies, and then that's where it stays. But when you're a shop owner, you have to realize that this stuff sitting in a room, in a box or in a bag is not going to help me. And in fact, that is my money right there, just tied up in a box. So if I can take the time to do what I plan to do with it. That's a good thing. And then, you know, when you are thrifting, well, things take up space. So there's that too. Not only does it take up your money, it's kind of tied up until it sells, you know, so every piece that you pick, you're investing, you're taking a gamble. Will it sell? Will my clientele like this? So if you are getting into thrifting and flipping, make sure you pay attention to what sells. Um, and what your audit audience likes. I had a comment, um, I think it was yesterday or this morning, I don't know, in the last 24 hours on my last thrift vlog, and somebody was saying like, oh my gosh, so much gold. Like, they did not like it. And um, I just reminded them that I personally love gold, um, and to each their own. But remember that when you are thrifting, the number one selling rule is to know your audience. And so why try to reinvent the wheel? If you have something that goes quickly, you know what get it again and sell it again because you, you're on to something so you know we're not going to if a recipe works we're going to stick with the same recipe that would be silly so know your audience you know your customer base what they like i love this too and i know because i've been in business long enough that my uh you know in fact this color is popular enough that i made a paint with it so this color is going to do just great and I'm gonna sit this in amongst all my gold stuff and I'm gonna give this piece a very much a front and center um, like area. So as people shop my store, I mean, you're gonna wanna look over here and be like, ooh, what is that? 
Now, on a personal note, I have picked up many of these cages and I've kept a bunch for myself. I can't keep them all. There's no need to keep them all. I don't collect cages. Um, you know, just having a couple is really nice. But this time of the year, it's really nice. You could do things like put um, acorns, uh, you know, something like that inside of it. You could string it with some fairy lights, some of those really nice little mini lights. I mean, when you see a cage like this, what would you do with it? Would you put uh, like a battery operated candle inside of it or a candle where you would safely attend to it? So what would be your idea for something like this? What would you do with it? You'll have to let me know. So yeah, I have had great success. Currently, for those who ask, I get a message like, where do you sell? So I sell my thrift, thrift at home decor items in my store is my main place. There are items, there's a lot of items that I buy that are what I call smalls and that are shippable. But I'm not, I'm not interested in shipping big pieces of furniture. Oh my gosh, I know how much it is to ship paint right now and things. So, and I'm sure you know too that the cost of shipping is not cheap. So I can't imagine what it would be like this time right now the season that we're in with just pricing and things of what that would even look like. But, um, you know, nowadays go out and get the piece of furniture and then yes, I will ship the paint to you. It's much cheaper and then teach you how to go ahead and paint that piece, right? So that's pretty much how that works. But I sell in my store here in Erie and I sell online as well. So there was a period of time that I used to sell on eBay and um, I recently made the decision that I'm just gonna, I used to sell on eBay and my actual website. And it's cool now because you can work with systems like Square and Shopify, and um, you know, you can set it up so that you can integrate. There's the blinky light. Hmm, it might be a battery thing. I just put a new battery in when I, uh, paint at my fireplace there the night before last, which looks so good by the way. When I painted that, it was in the dark, like it was at night, really late at night. And so you know how you have no natural light and when you set up, like this is just a work light, so when you set up a light, it's just really kind of harsh and doesn't really even show off the warmth and just how nice it really is because the lighting is that way. But um, coming in, like if you today I was admiring it, I really should take some pictures again of it in the daylight and stage my mantle. So I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, I used to sell on eBay and um, online as well. And now what I've decided to do, because just a tip that if you want to sell on eBay, which guys, I just decided to go ahead and sell directly from my website because I was looking at the fees and kind of where we are and stuff. And I just made a decision, my own personal decision um, to sell from my own website with the rest of my stuff. So, but if you want it to sell nowadays on a website and a uh, marketplace, there are apps that are made that you can literally just do a push of your items out to the marketplace. My thing is that um, the biggest thing, and obviously it's where I show up every day, is my brick and mortar store here. My shop is a destination and I work to stock it. So that is where I put my focus on, people who come into my store and actually buy my things and they physically leave with it. And then what I do is all the stuff that I find, my thrift that finds, I also look to say and see, okay, what can I put online as well? What makes sense to ship? What will not break? What will fit in a box? What is such a weird shape, you know, weird shape that if I put it in a box that shipping might be a fortune because it's a, just a weird size box. So I've just kind of learned a lot. Now I can pick and choose what I want to put online. So I have the, I purchased the domain. It's called Sonia Thrifts and it'll take you to the part of my website where now I'm actively working on a daily basis to get my, um, my smaller stuff that I can ship. And I want to say thank you to you guys who have been supporting me over there. Um, I'll show you my system as well of how I do it because I like to keep things simple. I, I like a simple business. You know, you don't have to make it overly complicated. Ooh, we're almost around to the other side. Let me show you real quick. 
kind of like how I run it in my store. How I keep things, keep track of things. And this is the time of day where I go and I, I do a check. So yeah, there you go. How pretty is that? So gorgeous. I might have to put it, you know, even though this is for sale, I could um, put a string of lights over it and just put a tag on it that says not for sale. But it could give somebody some inspiration to go, oh, I need that in my life this cozy season. I think we should have all the twinkle lights this time of year. Books and twinkle lights and comfy clothes, pajamas and blankets, you know, and maybe a cat. Can we throw a cat in there as well? When my cat Stanley lays next to me, it's like, oh my gosh, I've won a prize. You have bestowed your love upon me. You love me. You really love me. That's what we do, right? We try to convince our cats to love us. At least mine. Mine is not very, mine is stingy with his affection. So if you get the affection, like you're like, I'm so honored. <laughs> Stanley cat, he goes a little crazy in the winter. So we'll see how he does this year. He digs up my plants in winter. He gets the, what's it called? The zoomies, all that stuff. Like he goes out of his mind. He will turn into ears back. I will shred your, um, your headboard, your curtains. I will hang, uh, I might even hang off your jeans. One day you'll be walking. The next thing you know, he's like up on your hip. <laughs> if Matt was here right now, he would tell you about the times that Stanley has jumped up and hugged him with bare claws into his, uh, yeah, into his hips. <laughs> All right. We laugh at it now. It wasn't so fun at the time. All right, so pretty cool. I'm gonna put a little bit of more, um, I'm gonna give this a chance to dry. I'll take a moment and show you guys my system here with my thrift tags of how I do things around my store. And I'll come back and probably add a little bit more. If I want as well, I could do some distressing. If you ever feel like you put too much on, just grab a sand block and just knock some more off. But where's my jar? This is literally how easy I run my thrift business in my store. With priority given, of course, because we open seven days a week, and like I said, this place is a hub. This sits on my front register. And all my staff know, tags from thrift items that sold. So Sonia can take them off website. Thank you. I like everybody to understand on my team why we do what we do. So yeah, so the reason why is when, um, say for example, this was a paint, this is painted. This is another project I had to do. What I would do is have them, they take the tag and they just throw it in here. And then we keep checking this throughout the day to see what's in here so we can find stuff. So these are tags now that I have to go and take offline. These are items that have sold. So I'd like to give you an idea. Um, brass candle holder. And I use the same keyword so I can find them real quick in my uh, system. We have colorful tall metal candle holder. We just put that one out. Then we have a hand blown green vase, tear dish, speckled studio pottery dish, vintage ceramic dish. So these are all the tags. We go find them online and we go ahead and we make them on active. And then, so these are, for example, some bags of stuff that's sold. And yeah, uh, so for example, somebody's labeled this thrift items that were online and sold in the store. So these are just all kinds of tags together just over the last little bit that have sold. And my team is so organized. They put them literally in bags. I love them. So yeah, you can see um, the ceramic gray kitten, the distinguished king frog decor. Who remembers when we got that one? Hand blown swirling glass vase, um, gold vase, decorative tin container with the tassel. Oh, and I love it too because I will go in here and I would be like, oh my gosh, what's sold? Uh, two piece decor tray in small bowl, ceramic succulent in pot as sold. Um, the Sarna wood tray, remember that one we, we found with a little sticker on the bottom of it? Our meditating um, Buddha, blue gnome decoration. I think the pink one sold too, right? 
handmade stoneware pottery pour cup. So just to give you an apple dish, oh my gosh. I actually checked that guy out. I remember when he bought that. Sleeping kitten, tea light holder. Remember how I told you I find these and they always sell? So owl salt and pepper shakers. These are all sold. So these are all pieces that you have recently seen me thrift and they all found homes. I got a review this week where somebody said to me, um, they left in the review, they didn't say it to me directly, but they had said, um, you know, how they love the store and they love the thrift area that they found with all the, you know, one of a kind finds. So that's why I say, you do you and do it well, right? Two piece set candle white holders. It just goes on and on. Uh, brass Buddha bell that we found. Grayish candle holders, I remember those. Wooden kitty cat, critter cell here. Stoneware antelope, mom and baby sold. Spooky glitter tree sold. Green and gold votive, gold elephant, wooden bowl and lid, another Buddha. Wooden candle holder. So anyway, you guys get um, get all these. Oh yeah, I was so happy when this one sold right here. This is the uh, glass fish bowl candle holder. Do you guys remember when we went thrifting and we found, we found um, that one? I remember the place, I'm just trying to think of it right now, but I love it. Anything with like glass and things inside of it, I'm all about that stuff. So anyway, that's how I do it. So right now, the, oh gosh, did I just mix them in? Oh my gosh! Okay, I might have to go figure out the ones that I just took out of that bowl because I need to go take them offline. Okay, it's all right. It's, it's all good. We can figure it out. We can figure it out. Um, but yeah, I just go ahead and I, I take them offline and that's it. And just put the tags together. Way to go. Pretty simple system, right? So then I get the joy of going out. When you're picking stuff, just pick what um, feels right. You know, I just use my own instinct as my barometer. You know, my north star to know like if I love it um you know I've just grown my audience and my my shop is very much what I'm a, what I'm passionate about so therefore I've attracted people that like things like me so it's really easy for me when I go out and I pick it because if it falls into the category of maybe colorful maybe shabby maybe cozy whimsical um magical you know any sort of thing like that Chances are my people are gonna love it. So it keeps making room for, room in the budget to go out and get more and room to be able to continue to restock. So I can really tell if we have an event and um, you know, my area is like, oh my gosh, it got hit hard. All right, I'm almost done here. I'm just gonna add a few little brush strokes of this inside here. It doesn't have to be a lot, but you just want that tarnished little bit of color on the inside. And I'll have to flip it over and probably hit the bottom a little bit as well. There's somebody watching right now and it's like, you missed the spot. Trust me, when I'm off this video, I'll turn this thing 360 and get everything I need. Sometimes when you film a video and you paint, it's just, it can be a little awkward because you can't fully concentrate on what you're actually doing here, right? You're doing two things at one time. It's like patting your head and rubbing your belly. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Just gonna make sure I hit all the areas. But what do you guys think? Fun color? You can't go wrong. Put some color on it. Put some sparkly lights. Boom, bada bing. And it's so easy and fun. Oh yeah, I gotta do the bottom down there. All right, and it's so easy and fun because when you do it the stress style just makes it so forgiving. Okay, so I'm very happy with this. This is the new cage. It is in Teal River. We do have a little bit of this left. You guys know if you saw my last video that currently all of our paints are on for $12. The ones that you see behind me is the last of the paints that we do have. So once the color is sold out, that is it. We are not making any more paint for the foreseeable future. We're taking a break. So if you need our paint, make sure you grab it now while it's on the shelves because once the color sells out, um, it's not coming back. So here's, here's and cheers to a fresh junk monkey uh, in 2023. All right, but this is a nice color. This is really nice.
Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead. I've got to go into the pile of tags to find the ones. I might have to watch this video back um, to find the tags that sold that I had to take offline. Oh my gosh, and get that done. Um, and then our shop is, I see a few people out there right now. They're probably like, what in the world is that woman doing back there? Um, yeah, have a great evening, be safe, and I hope you get some snow and you get to be all cozy on the inside looking out the window and enjoying it from that point of view. All right, guys, see ya. Bye. By the way, I will have a thrift video up tomorrow um, on my thrift channel. So basically a creativity day, a thrift day. Good balance, right? See you there. I'll link it below. Bye.